What's up fish on viewers? Rodney Fish on Forte here. I know it's been a while since I made a video, but it's been hard for me to get out on the water lately uh, with a couple of things that has been going on. I had surgery, had to remove my gallbladder, develop gangrene, that was a mess. And now I'm trying to get back on the boat to get ready for the fall fishing season. And one thing I noticed um, when I got back on Fin Chaser here is that my trim on my lever here is not working. It'll work going down, as you hear, but it will not work going up. Okay, now the trim here on both engines works. And the trim on the engines works as well. If I press those up or down, they both work. So I know that my problem is in here. So what I'm gonna do today is try to clean the connections here by taking this off, this lever off, cleaning the connections, put it back together, and we're gonna see if that helps. All right, fish on viewers, uh, stay tuned for the disassembly. Okay, first thing I'm gonna need to do is uh, take off this rubber piece here. I got a flathead screwdriver. I'm gonna be real careful taking this off because I don't wanna tear it. Just uh, poke it right in a little bit with my finger and then pull it right out. So that's the uh, probably the easiest part of the whole job right there, taking that off. Now, if you see, I have two screws in there. I don't know if you can see that or not. But there are two screws I need to take off here and here. So I'm going to do that right now. By the way, this is uh, Sunday, a couple of days after Hurricane Dorian came through. And uh, we did pretty well. We, we didn't lose any fence panels this time, thank goodness. Uh, didn't lose any vinyl siding, although I did have one piece of vinyl siding fly off my house. I went and got it and uh, put it back up and put it back up a little bit better than... Uh, than it was put up when the house was new. However, my next door neighbor there, they lost a couple of panels, one, two, and yeah, they lost two panels, so maybe they're in his backyard somewhere, I don't know, we'll see. But anyway, I got the two screws off, now it's time to pull the lever off. If you see that, those two screws are out, so now it's time to pull this lever off. There you go. Now, if you can see, this cable right here is the cable that's going to this selector right here. Okay? So this runs down through here and, uh -oh, and into the, uh, the control right here, the 704 remote control. So I'm going to pick that up, put it back on here, then I'm going to undo these screws here if you can see those and take this housing off which should give me access to the wires and the control here so I want to get to the back side of this right here all right you know what I'm gonna just put this on the side for right now right on top of that um, that rubber bushing we have Okay, on here, I'm going to need a Phillips screwdriver. I got my little small Phillips screwdriver. Okay, now that I have those two screws out, 
I should be able to pull this plastic piece off carefully. Let's see if I can do that. It's coming out. Hmm. Seems as though it's stuck up here in the top, so. All right, fish on viewers, I'm back. Um, sorry about that, my air conditioner is on. So uh, this right here, this black piece separates. And what I did was I grabbed my uh, flathead screwdriver and I easily pried this apart. See that? Don't, you don't want to use too much force. You don't want to break anything because I'm quite sure this, this is expensive. So let's go on the back side. Okay, there we go. Okay, this is what I need right here. This part is malfunctioning. This lever here it works going down, but it does not work going up. So what I'm going to do now is take get a little more slack here. I'm going to take this out. Now it's going to go out uh, this way. The cables actually, when you put this in, the cables go through here down in here and down inside your remote control if I had to replace this I had a new one I would run the wires through the hole here down inside here out of here and into here all right for showing viewers I have to take a quick break but I'm back out here now man I'm gonna have to get that off of there but uh anyway the trim switch is inside here and what I did is I got a screwdriver and I gently pressed along the edges and uh, it's popping right out let's see if I can I don't know if you can see that but I'm just gently pressing on the edges there and there it goes okay so this is what's malfunctioning this part right here okay fish on viewers um, it may have been a mute point taking it apart. The controller, I might have to just replace the whole thing. Which, these wires right here are for the ones that are on the 704 remote itself. And the wires right there, I don't know if you can see that. The light is kind of uh, awkward. Those wires right there, those are the ones for the actual trim lever. So, that thin black wire right there, that thin black cable comes down, uh, and right there. So if I do have to replace it, I'll just disconnect those three right there and connect the, uh, the new ones right in there. Pretty easy process. So. Let's see how much this thing costs and get it fixed so we can get Fin Chaser back on the road as she should be. Well, back on the water as she should be. Alright. Talk to you soon. Out.